So, I got this in the mail today, but I'm not sure what's in the box. Hmm. No, I'm only kidding. Of course, how could it be more obvious? Uh, this is a regulated DC power supply, and uh, I wouldn't call it a bench power supply by any means. Uh, links for the product are in the description, and as I always say, they are affiliate links, so if you would like to support the channel, please use those. But this is a power supply that I wanted to get to provide some kind of regulated, reasonable, you know, give me some options, basically. So uh, it's about, I think it comes in about £60, this. Uh, a proper bench power supply would be in hundreds of pounds, certainly. And it's a very generic box. China's finest, no doubt. Here you go. This is, comes with uh, some spade terminals there and some crock clips to go onto the main terminals of the power supply. There's the power supply itself. We also have, oh, another pair of these. Yeah, same thing. It's just spade terminals and uh, crock clips. Fine, okay. Instruction manual. And it's slightly larger than I thought it was, actually. As a feel of the build quality. It's not particularly heavy. Metal casing, I would expect that. Uh, it's got a fan on the back. And it's got a standard IEC mains lead there. It smells exactly like I thought it would. I don't know if there's anyone like me out there who um, tends to smell stuff to kind of gauge what it's like. So it's a really simple device, this. Uh, you've just got... You know, standard three connections on the front. Rather plasticky sounding power button there. And an adjustment for voltage and current. I'll put a few, couple of specs up on the screen so you can see um, what the uh, the actual, you know, maximum current of this device is. But you can look at that yourself as well by taking a look at the Amazon page. There we go. Let's peel this off. And we have a reasonably nice display they're slightly flickering on the um, camera with its uh, shutter speed set as it is but um yeah not flickering to my eye anyway so these are interesting because they actually turn round they turn round like constantly like this but they do still have a dead stop at the end of it so there can't turn it any more than that I'm quite sure how they achieve that but uh Okay, let's get this hooked up to a uh, DVM and uh, see what we've got. So this is the uh, Uniroy power supply. How do I know it's Uniroy? Well, because it's got a sticker on it. There we go. It's not Uniroy anymore. It's just a generic brand of power supply, DC power supply. Um, this particular model, which is the 505S, I think, is uh, 0 to 32 volts and up to 5 amps or 5.2 amps. So we're not talking anything seriously sort of beefy here, nothing seriously powerful, uh, but um, enough to just provide you with power when you need it, I guess. It's just a simple, very basic bench power supply. Don't think it's going to be anything amazing, um, but hopefully it will do the job. Uh, constant voltage, you've got a little constant voltage symbol there because I've got a, um, a voltage set on here. So if my, I've, got, I've got my constant voltage, if I have a current set, once it reaches a certain current, it'll then kind of drop the voltage off and you'll have constant current, if you know what I mean. So you get that constant voltage, constant current crossover. Uh, so you get two, two sets of these, uh, one of which I currently have connected to this Retivis VHF RT98 radio. So I've got this set to 12 volts. And this is currently just hooked into a dummy load. Uh, so it's not going anywhere. But I just wanted to just try it on something, get it hooked up to something and see whether it works. So it's currently set at 12.05 volts. So let's just hook up the, the, the uh, multimeter to that and see how accurate it is sort of with only a very basic load. 174 milliamps according to the um, actual power supply. Okay, well, can't argue too much with that. Got, um, uh, yeah, I think you can see that quite clearly. 12.04 12 there, 12.05 there. But let's apply a load now on the uh, trans by tra actually transmitting. So there we go. 
So now it's uh, pulling two and a half amps from the power supply or thereabouts, and we've dropped to 12 volts, so 12.01 volts rather than 12, rather than the power supply advertised, 12.05. Comes back up again when we release the push to talk. Let's just uh, try that a little bit higher, because I think the actual output of this device, I think this, this the RT-98 is expecting 13.8. Not too sure, but let's just set this. 30.85. This is there's no fine control on this. At least I don't think there's any option to pull or push it in or anything like that. No, there's no fine control. You literally cannot get any accurate voltages. So if you want something where where you're expecting to get like exactly 13.8 volts, forget it. And there's no point anyway because I don't think it's like really accurate enough anyway. Because look, 13.8 volts here. We're up to 13.88 on the DVM, and uh, I just push. The uh, push to talk, we actually take it down to about the right voltage. <laughs> so we're only now pulling 2.4 amps. But not too bad. I mean, for a basic little box like this, 60 quid's worth of power supply. Um, it's, yeah, it's quite tidy, quite clean, not not too big. And uh, would sit on a on a desk quite nicely. I, I, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of all I wanted it for, just to be able to just quickly hook something up to power if I need to, really. Um, again, nothing too uh, fancy. But again, as I say, links are in the description and uh, they are affiliate links. So if you'd like to support the channel, please use those. Uh, don't have to if you don't want to. But uh, this is the... Let me give you the model number if I can do it without. It's the use... According to this, it's the UCP305A. S according to that, but if I look at the actual manual here and the model list that's on the manual, you'll notice that that model is not even listed. But I think what we're talking about is this one here, 305, because it's 0 to 30, 0 to 5 amps. Um, I, I'm not absolutely sure. I don't get that. This manual seems to be slightly off with the supplied power supply, but. Um, Anyway, yeah, if you need a variable voltage, variable current power supply, regulated power supply, this is probably, you could probably do worse. Mm -hmm.